I'ma stay touching all kinds of paper And I ain't never gonna give a fuck about a hater Cause I know, oh, I got soul, baby I know what it is. It's Patai, Guy King TV. Uh, coming back with y'all with some more videos, right? So I know y'all been waiting on videos, right? Now, what I want to do this video on is a little bit more in depth about red pill, right? Now, where I'm going with this on the red pill level is I want to, in so many words, I want to bring niggas to another level of perspective about it. Now, if you watch my other videos or you watch my lives where I talked about red pill, where I talked about it in terms of there's guys on YouTube who are talking about red pill information and they're giving you information, but they're playing on your fears and insecurities. Now, that's never what we do here at God King TV. We, we're really in the business of bringing the spiritual aspect to it. So what I want to do is I want to go in depth about utilizing it to the best of your ability. Now, when I talk about red pill information, I'm giving you red pill information, but I'm giving it to you from a spiritual standpoint so you can understand how it makes sense when you connect it, right? Now, the first thing about it I want to talk about is, yes, most of the guys who are awakened to the red pill were awakened to it possibly through a negative interaction with a female. And we all had that. I had that. But it don't take away from the love that I have for women. Now, you may have a, a sense of understanding of the red pill where you got guys out here who on the low kind of hate women or they kind of have a disdain for women. Now, that's never what I care about dealing with. Now, of course, that ain't got nothing to do with sipping. That's just being 100. Yeah, we all had negative interactions with women. But what you're supposed to be understanding about this red pill shit is that it's really to get you on your motherfucking game. Now, if you can acknowledge the fact that hypergamy exists, right, then you can acknowledge the fact that it happens for a reason. Now, the only thing about the red pill in the community that we deal with is that most of the guys are not given a great in-depth analysis about why it happens that way. You know, when you take a look at the, the masculine feminine energy from a spiritual perspective, what you realize is that the masculine produces structure and the masculine is here to protect the divine feminine now when i say that that don't mean you go out and you protect every goddamn shorty that's out here in the street what it means is that you protect the divine feminine based on the fact that if you're with your woman then that's the queen of your castle if you're just dealing with being a bachelor then you just you know you protect your mama and your grandmama and your sisters that's the feminine energy that you protect so you look at it from whatever perspective you want to look at it, but the masculine protects the divine feminine. Now, on top of protecting the divine feminine, we understand that also if you take away the matrix, right? If you take away the houses, the cars, the clothes, all of that, right? You're in nature. And so with being in nature, the woman is going to seek protection. They're not the strongest creatures in this dimension. Now, we're the muscle bound bigger species of them right so with that being said is that with that being said they're going to seek somebody who they feel they can be protected by and there's nothing wrong with that if you're not an alpha nigga and when i say alpha i mean alpha in terms of a spiritual standpoint more than just a behavioral standpoint of just being a lone wolf or you go rogue and you go your own way. Yeah, that's cool too. But being an alpha man is more about being spiritually centered, being principled, and being able to understand how and when to utilize this masculine energy, when to utilize the feminine energy. Because, oh, yes, we got feminine energy too. So all that shit that niggas be talking about that don't understand this shit from a spiritual standpoint, nah, I'm giving you the real game. As a man, when you wake up to this red pill, some people were hurt. I wasn't hurt because I wasn't, it wasn't that much that I was uh, not aware of. But the red pill nature is for you to awaken to your greatness, really. So when I say awaken to your greatness, I mean in terms of you getting on your shit, being the best man that you can be. If you feel any disdain about the red pill in terms of being the best man you can be, or you feel forced 
or you feel like you don't want to have to be the best man you could be, then you already out of the goddamn race. And you probably wonder why you don't get no pussy. Now, real niggas is getting pussy. I ain't never had no problem getting pussy. You know why? It's because I understand red pill game. Now, the game ain't even really game. It's just the rules of nature. And I tell you all the time, hypergamy for a woman does not just mean material shit. Now, while you're here in this material dimension, it's nothing wrong with getting your motherfucking money. Get your guap. Ain't nothing wrong with dressing fly. Ain't nothing wrong with wanting to have a nice car. But understand, yeah, there's a part of it that you want to have it for you. But really, all of the driving motivation and the mechanism behind it is because of the feminine energy that you do it for. You do it for the admiration of a woman. You do it for you know the fact that it's easier to pull motherfucking women because women are just as shallow as niggas. And women look at you, but when they see you with some nice shit, they're thinking in their mind, oh, wow, he's getting money or he's focused or he has an ability to obtain wealth that I can possibly be able to be secured by too. Now, I know there's niggas who would be like, man, I work for all this money and I don't want no girl to have my shit. I get it. Because women out here are catty as fuck. I get it. You got women out here who want to use you. You know what I'm saying? But there's a game to it. Now, if you can also implement the spiritual aspect of it. The spiritual aspect of it is this. If you become a spiritual man, if you become a superior man, what you'll realize is this. Ain't too many motherfucking regular bitches is going to be coming around you. What I mean by that? Them bitches can't have the same conversations you have. You talk about spirituality. You talk about some deep esoteric shit. You talking about business, economics. You talking about future plans. And you might be dealing with a chick who cannot even reach you on that level. The majority of the women, if you are a superior man, one thing you're not going to do is you're not going to dumb your motherfucking self down to deal with motherfucking women. There will be times where you will deal with women where they will try to a degree to play a certain role. And what I mean by that is you might deal with a woman who thinks she bougie as fuck. She really ain't bougie. And I mean bougie in terms of status wise or even mind wise, right? She could try to act like she can take you can take her to a fancy restaurant. She got this whole taste that she like, but she only like that shit on your expense. She can only afford that shit on your expense. But if you take her into the real waters and you get into her mind first, then you already know if this motherfucker on your level or not. There's a lot of women when you start to elevate yourself as a superior man, these women can't even be on your fucking level, dog. That's how you start to weed out the shit. And it's nothing wrong with that hypergamy shit because you will be able to be in a position to understand women a little bit better. So when we talk about the red pill, yes, hypergamy exists. It's going to always exist. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing we can do about it because we men. But what we can do is we can separate ourselves and have a lot more discernment when it comes to the type of women we deal with. And that's something about the red pill that once you awaken to the red pill energy, you'll know every woman ain't going to be on your level no matter how fine that motherfucker look. You'll start to be able to have more discernment over who you fuck and who you spend your time with. Now, that's where you start to level up as a man because you'll say to yourself, these girls ain't even on my level. Give a fuck how good she look. Where her head at? Shotty, can you help me run a fucking business? Do you got this in mind? What motivates you? You see what I'm saying? Can we have these type of conversations? A lot of women cannot go deep into these type of conversations. Nothing wrong with it. Now, there's a lot of women who can. But when you are a disciplined nigga with wisdom and knowledge, that's why they come attracted to you. Now, it's up to you. Now, when a man is on his shit, a man can elevate a woman to a certain status, and then she can also do the same for you. And I mean that in terms of this. If you get to a certain status and you're dealing with a certain type of woman, you can use that energy from that woman to help you in your life. Because what? The woman motivates you to stay being your best you. So if you're dealing with a certain caliber of woman, then she can always be the iron that sharpens you. You see what I'm saying? She could always have a different perspective on something that you need. Go back to my other videos where I talk about why it's good to have women around you. You could have that other perspective of seeing something. 
But that takes you dealing with a certain type of caliber of woman. And sometimes you might have to go search high and low, my nigga, for that type of woman. But it'll be worth it in the end when you start to deal with those type of caliber women. So you have to push yourself to be able to be that man that can get these type of women. And it's not hard. You just got to put in the work on yourself. So, yes, hypergamy is a good thing. It's a good thing because it forces you to be a fucking man. Now, people who may not like hypergamy don't like it because they feel like they don't want to be living up to the best of their ability. And it's not about doing it for the woman, but what you'll realize when you really look at it is that the woman is the reason why you do it. At the end of the day, so you have to come to that realization, and it goes back to what I said. The masculine energy on a spiritual level and esoteric level is here to protect the divine feminine. Now, when I say the divine feminine, understand what I mean. It's not for you to protect every single goddamn woman. It's for you to protect the ones around you that you care about. And what comes with that is what? They have to be able to up a standard for them to be able to be protected, right? Every woman has to carry themselves a certain type of way. Because you're not obligated as a man to protect every single woman. You're obligated to protect your women or the women around you. And that's up to you how you do it. But that's just a little game. Want to give y'all some knowledge and uh, wisdom and uh, drop comments. Like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. You know what it is. I'm Patai. This is God King TV, man. Keep on checking in with your boy. Chill. I'm going to stay touching all kinds of paper.